In this session, we will complete the roof framing over the station building by adding the joist framing between the timber beams. From the Structural Elements group, select the Timber Joist at Spacing tool. From the Catalog type, Beam Timber Joist, select the Catalog item Glue Lamb Beam. Create a parametric section that is 3.5 inches by 9 inches or 100 millimeters by 250 millimeters. Set the structural finish to sealed. And set the type ID to B3. And set the name alternate to glue lamb timber. And let's save this as a new catalog item within our project work set named B3 glue lamb timber. On the placement ribbon, set the placement to bottom center. These timber joists will sit on top of the timber beams. Set the rotation to zero. Set the placement options to absolute spacing at a distance of three feet or a thousand millimeters. Toggle on end members to create members at the ends of the supports. On the support options, you can either use the placement line or insert line of the supporting member, the midline, or a selected line. Set it to by selected line. Since the placement line of the support members was the bottom center, we want to be able to select a different edge as the placement for the alignment of the choice. This will allow us to do that. Toggle off the structural snap. This will allow us to select an edge of the beam rather than automatically snapping to the placement line of the support beam. Snap to the top inside edge of the first beam along grid line B. Then snap to the top outside edge of the first beam along grid line C. Joists are placed at the defined spacing. Note that joists are placed at the ends of the support beams. Since we do not want to duplicate those end joists with the next placement, skip the next bay and continue to place joists on the end bay. Once done, toggle off end members and place joists on the center bay that was skipped. That completes the joist framing. Next, you will modify the ends of the timber beams and joist so that they can't lever beyond the column lines to support the roof overhang. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.